How are you? I'm super duper. So, what's this you got going on here? This is shredded up trees. So, you've got some mulch. Yeah. And how much did we have to pay for this mulch? Nothing. Why? Because Aspen brought it right to our house. So, all we had to do was ask. That's right. All we had to do was ask. Yeah. So, instead of paying, what, $5 a bag, $12 a bag, however much a bag, yep. it, we just had to let it decompose for... Well, we didn't have to. We did, though. Right. For, like, what, a year? Two years? It's been sitting here for... When did we do that? I can't remember. Well, this, when it snowed last... Not winter before. So. Yeah. It was, uh... January? Yeah. I think it was. Um... They were clearing out the obstructions around the power lines and so. Right. And that year we were going to do something, but we didn't because Mom... We had to have Mom come live with yeah, us for a while. Yeah. So it's almost planting time, so we, i.e. Chris, is getting the garden ready. Mulching it up good, it looks good. When it dries out, it even looks better, look at there. And I have to show you this redbud tree. I just think those are gorgeous. You're gonna cut it down. Well, I gotta cut some of it off, it's kind of going over the garden. Well, cut that one that off. That one piece. Well, That's a that. mimosa tree right there. Yeah, it's dead. Yeah. Well, yeah. you can kill it. Excuse me. <laughs> Some of us have work to do. Right. Uh, yeah, I better move these potato sacks out of the way. I need to work on those. Could have been a snake under there for all I know. I better watch it. The snakes and I do not get along. Anyhow, these potato bags are just what they say they are. You fill them with mulch and then you um, you fill them with mulch and then you plant your potatoes and you just keep adding mulch. You see that right there? Is that like food or is that like a weed? That's a problem with me. Some of the greens, I don't know if it's weeds or food. Like, is this burdock or is this chard? I don't know. Because I planted it in this garden. We tried carrots in these last year and it worked pretty well. I don't know if I tried again or not. Yeah, they're time consuming. We have um, moles. And so it's just kind of easier to grow root vegetable in some of these grow grow buckets that now are covered in chickweed. Nice. Yep, that's a pretty good crop of chickweed I got going on there. Anyhow, this is what Chris is doing a little bit. We just got back from the gym. You're just a man today. Yeah. I tell you. I feel like it. And here's the rosemary. It wintered over. Some of it's dead, but it's still alive. So I'm real pleased about that. Oh, I love the smell of rosemary. Need to get some work done here. This is the um, purple crumb flowers. Echinacea. Fairy garden needs some work. It's a sunny day, that's why I'm out here. This side. Got some more of the succulents and this little mushroom house going on over here. It's like a fairy village now. And the tulip tree has some buds. We've got another big pile of mulch. Here, free mulch, don't forget it, and this was an herb garden, but now it's a cilantro bed, and this comes up on the porch, 
because the base was getting replanted in it. That's where we had our base last year. It was like horrible. Hi Lincoln! I was horrible at taking care of the garden last year. I've got to admit, but in all fairness, we had new grandbaby. My mother-in-law is going through some chemo stuff. My mom is getting settled. Hi, Minnie Mouse. And so, yeah, we didn't do much in the garden at all last year. Oh, i got to show you this. Yes, that's an apple blossom. Woohoo! Apples. We thought this tree was dead, but it's not. That one, that was a honey crisp, and you shouldn't really grow honey crisps in our zone, but we love honey crisps, so we tried it. Didn't learn. Great vines, I think, probably need to be replaced. They're just kind of overwhelmed by, I don't even see any buds on them this year. That tree right there, that is Lance's tree. We planted that in memory of Josh's best friend who was killed in the IED attack that Josh was in. And here's the fig tree, and I don't know. It, it seems dead, but what do I know? It keeps coming back. I have no clue. Chickweed for days. We can grow some chickweed. This used to be a really nice garden before we got dogs. <laughs> Day lilies. Those are actually fleur de lis, a hosta that needs to be dealt with. And Chris had to work on the septic system the other day up here, put a new cover on it, and hand covered a bunch of hostas. So I'm going to move those too. So my project today is to redo the basil. Um, chives will go probably in the cilantro bed, but i got to work on that. Here's the lemon tree with some lemons. I'm so proud. This was a kiwi, not a kiwi, a lime. And I left it out and it froze. So anyhow, I'm going to plant spinach in this pot after I change the soil out because I can't figure out what's a weed and what is a green vegetable. True story. Basil will go in this container. And I don't know, lettuce will probably go in this one. There's my chicken and hens that need to be like transplanted into another pot. I just kind of threw them in here to protect them. It's pretty cool though. Rose bush is doing great. Tree lines throwing off pollen like crazy. Yeah, it's a good day. I hope you guys are having a great day, first day of April. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up, like and subscribe, be our friends. If you want some free mulch, contact Asplund. Take care. Bye.